We're in room zero at Riverbank Acoustical Laboratories in Geneva, Illinois. This is a reverberation chamber, in case you couldn't tell. And we use spaces like this to test the acoustic properties of materials and objects. We're about to make a big change to this space. We've now installed a 12 foot diameter, four foot high sound absorbing ring in this space. And even though you can still hear quite a bit of reverberation, the change before to after is remarkable. Pretty sure this is the, the largest, most sound absorbing object that's ever been in this room in its 100 year history. We're now in Seattle, Washington, outside of the shop. Derby is a restaurant. The shop is where they store all the excellent cars. The ring that we just tested at Riverbank has been installed here. You can see it. It's the first time I've seen it. It's pretty cool. It looks so different when it's up in the air like that, the way that it was intended. When it, you're standing down next to it, it says such an imposing presence in the room, especially in a small room like the reverberation chamber at Riverbank. Inside the shop, you get a really good sense for what this place is about. They actually work on cars here in addition to storing them. And it has a polished concrete floor, which is reflective to sound energy, but mostly it's just a huge space. And large spaces are inherently reverberant, especially when you have loud sounds within them. So that's part of the idea with a ring like this. In addition to the benefit of not covering the ceiling because there's a beautiful wood ceiling in here that would be a shame to cover with traditional materials. Each ring, this is a 12 foot ring, uh, four foot high, brings so much absorption to the space that it starts to tame it. And the idea is that you'd put just the right amount in to make the space sound pleasant for everyone.